In today's video, we'll discuss the actions required to correct the angle of law. Angle of law occurs when a vessel is in an unstable condition, meaning her center of gravity is above metacenter. Before we proceed to the corrective measures, let's first understand what it means for a ship to be in an unstable condition. This condition occurs when a ship, after being inclined by external forces, a lever was formed on the high side. However, instead of generating a riding lever, it creates a capsizing lever, producing a capsizing moment. When external forces are present, the ship continues to heel or tilt, until the center of buoyancy aligns vertically below the center of gravity. At this point, the tilting stops. The vessel stabilizes in an inclined position, no lever was formed, so the capsizing moment disappears, she will remain inclined, unless acted upon by external forces. In this state, the ship is in a neutral condition, where the metacenter coincides with the ship's center of gravity. In this condition, she will remain inclined at a certain angle, known as the angle of law. Angle of law is the angle at which a vessel will come to rest when she is floating in still water, when heeled over to one side. If the ship heels beyond the angle of law, the center of buoyancy shifts further to the low side, generating a riding lever and riding moment that bring the vessel back to the angle of law instead of returning to an upright position. The ship oscillates around this angle and may flip to either port or starboard depending on the external forces applied. There are several reasons why a ship's center of gravity can rise above the metacenter. However, the key point to remember is that, excessive weight concentrated high on the vessel, or a significant free surface effect from slack tanks, can cause a rise in the ship's G. I won't go into the details here, as I've already covered this topic in a separate video. If you're interested in a full explanation, including a detailed discussion on the angle of law, you can find the link in the description or in the comment section. This video will focus specifically on how to correct the angle of law. Once we have identified that the ship's inclination is due to law, the immediate action is to lower the ship's center of gravity. One way to achieve this is to concentrate the weight on the lower hold. Another approach is to press up all slack tanks. Partially filled tanks should be topped up to eliminate the virtual rise of the center of gravity. The common method to correct the angle of law is through ballasting and deballasting. This involves discharging ballast water from the wing tanks and filling the double bottom tanks. When correcting the angle of law, certain precautions must be taken during ballasting and deballasting. When discharging ballast water from the wing tanks, always start with the tank on the high side. Once it is emptied, proceed to discharge the ballast water from wing tank on the low side. Why do we start with the tank on the high side? Assuming that the center of gravity of ballast water inside the tank is here, and that the low side is here, mark with small letter G. If we observe, the vertical distance of the weight center of gravity on the high tank, above the ship's center of gravity, is greater than the vertical distance on the tank at the low side. So the ballast water on the high tank has a greater effect on the rise of the ship's G. If we eliminate the effect of this small G, it will have a greater effect on lowering the ship's center of gravity. Take note of the movement of ship's G when discharging a weight on board. The ship's center of gravity moves directly away from the center of gravity of the weight being discharged. So if the ballast water has been discharged, the ship's G moves in the direction away from small g, the movement is from capital G, to G1. At this moment, the new position of ship's G is off the centerline, which means that the ship's inclination will increase. But as soon as the wing tank on the low side is emptied, the ship's G will go back to centerline. In this case, 
If we successfully bring the ship's G below the meta center, the ship will go back in an upright position, and the ship is in stable condition. What if the angle of lol still exists? But this time, the angle of inclination decreases. It means that discharging ballast water on the wing tanks is effective, but not enough to lower the ship's center of gravity below the meta center. If there are empty double bottom tanks, fill it with ballast to lower the ship's G. When doing this, if there are three compartments, fill the center tank first with ballast. When it is full, the tank at the low side will be the next to be filled, and the last to be filled with ballast is the tank at the high side. If there are only two compartments, fill the tank at the low side first, then, when it is full, fill the tank at the high side. Remember that when we add a weight on board, such as ballasting, the ship's center of gravity moves directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being added. After filling in with ballast water into the double bottom tank at the low side, assuming that the weight's vertical center of gravity, VCG, is here. Since this is an added weight, the ship's center of gravity moves towards the center of gravity of the weight being added. The movement is from capital G to G1. Now the new position of ship's G is off the centerline, which means that the ship's inclination increases. But after the ballast water are filled into the double bottom tank at the high side, and assuming the weight's vertical center of gravity, VCG, is here, the ship's center of gravity moves into the direction of the weight's G, until the new position of ship's G will be at the centerline. If we observe, the vertical distance of the weight center of gravity at the low side, from the ship's G, is greater compared to the weight center of gravity at the high side. With greater vertical distance, it has a greater effect on the movement of the ship's G. This is the reason why we need to fill first with ballast water the double bottom tank on the low side. At this moment, if the ship's center of gravity is below the meta center, the ship will go back to an upright position. Now the ship is in stable condition. We can find the tank's vertical center of gravity, or VCG, on the ship's tank sounding table on board. Be sure that when doing this procedure, you are familiar with the movement of the ship's center of gravity during adding, discharging, and shifting weights on board. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, See you next time, thank you for watching, bye.